Alright, give me your uh, uh, proverbs, right? They gonna just go visit. You gonna visit them? I'm not gonna live. Huh? You guys just educated me. I'm not going. But what you gonna do, right? I'm gonna go in there and go so, stretching. No, 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 no. So you know, not, not, not what to do on the Sabbath day. Yeah. But what should you be doing? Because there's certain things you're supposed to be doing on the Sabbath day. Gathered with my Israelites. Right. So listen, listen. Proverbs one and ten. Read that real quick. I'm gonna show you something, right? Because when you start to learn who you are, guess what? You're gonna have to separate yourselves from the people in the world. Because guess what? When you you gonna try to you gonna go home right you gonna go back to your homie's house and you gonna tell him hey man I seen these dudes in purple they was teaching me who I was according to the Bible I'm an Israelite child of Judah I ain't supposed to be working out y'all I told y'all I was gonna work out I'm not gonna work out today but they gonna look at you like nigga you crazy man hey smoke this joint real quick hey I'm about to call some uh, some women over here you trying to smash that's what's gonna happen right. because guess what our people in the world that's all they think about is sin read that Proverbs one and ten this is the book of Proverbs chapter one verse ten. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. So God said, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. All your friends right now are sinners. They're sinners. They're, if they ain't wearing their fringes, if they ain't growing out their beard, if they ain't keeping the Sabbath day holy, they're sinners. Now they might be doing it in ignorance, but guess what? God is saying, once you know what you're supposed to be doing, don't hang out with them, God. Why? What they going to make you do? What they do. What they do, right? And they know you. Yeah. You probably grew up with someone, yeah. they got to go to high school with each other. They know what you like, yeah. and they know that what you like is going to court against God's laws and commandments. Yeah. Right. So if you don't right. know what people who are not keeping the commandments, what you going to fall back into? <laughs> the wrong commandments. So not keeping God's laws and commandments, right? And it's going to end up TV and destruction. Watch, God's going to say it. Read. Verse 12, verse 11. And they say, come with us. Let us wait, lay wait for blood. Let us learn privily for the innocent without cause. Uh -huh. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as that that go down into the pit. Because some of our friends, they into this gang lifestyle. They into all trying to do mischievous things, harm other people, rob, rape, kill other people. Some of us, we have friends back like that back in the world. But guess what? God said, don't go back to them. They minds ain't right. They're going to cause you to go back into it. You learning the greatest thing in the, give me Proverbs 7 and 2. Bro, you learning how to live. Right. Because you want a path to destruction. Christ. This man right here, the depiction of Christ, he coming back. And he coming, he looked like you. But it'll be a damn shame for a man that's sitting up in the sky who looked like me and you to come back to kill you. Right. right. That's not a joke, that's not a game. The Christian church, this man right here, they don't teach that. Right. They don't teach us to fear God. They don't teach us to fear Christ. So guess what? We stay in the midst of sin. Right, give me Proverbs 7 and 2 real quick, and then Ecclesiastes 8 11. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 2. Uh -huh. Keep my commandments. And live! What's your name again, bro? Ray. Ray, my name is Onaris. What the Bible just say? Read it again. Keep my commandments and live! So how do we live? By keeping the commandments. By keeping the commandments. Right? Finish that off? And the love and my law as the apple of thine eye. So an apple, I mean, is something that's precious to you. You got to keep God's laws and commandments uh, so close to you, so precious to you, that you don't want to forsake it. You don't want to leave it. Because this is the only thing that's going to give our people uh, solutions to their problems. This is the only way that can keep us to live, right? And when it says live, it's not talking about, it's talking about um, here walking around. But guess what? After death. Right. Our people don't understand that we have the judgment after death. Right. God, we're going to stand before Christ and he's going to judge us. He's going to look, okay, you, you, uh, the prophet of purple told you on December 10, 2021 to do this, this, and that. Okay, you did it, enter into my kingdom. If you didn't do it, guess what he's going to say? Out of here. You're out of here, he's gonna kill you. He's gonna chop your head off. Right. Yes. You're gonna burn forever. Right. That's real life. But our people don't think about that. We out here, we're not out here just for no reason. Yeah. We out here because we love our people. We try to show them the correct way. Because guess what? We was all in your shoes that one day. I I played football. I used to lift weights. I used to do all that type of stuff, trying to get the girls, smoke weed. I did all that stuff. But once I found out, damn, I was leading, I was going to a path of destruction, and I realized all my friends in the world. All they cared about was doing all evil stuff. I'm like, no, I don't want that for myself. Right. You shouldn't want that for yourself neither. Right. Right. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Right. Because you're going to see your friends, right? You're going to tell them, hey, stop breaking the Sabbath. Stop smoking weeds. Hey, stop smashing all these girls, man. Stop hollering at your sisters. But guess what? They're going to keep doing it. And you're going to think in your mind, like, damn, they, ain't nothing happen to them. The God must not be judging them. Yeah. And that's what happens. We get deceived. We think because we've been doing sin so long, we think God's not going to do something. But watch. Right. Read that. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8 and verse 11. Uh -huh. Because sentence 
and just an evil work is not executed speedily. Because sometimes God is not going to judge you right away when you commit sin. Yeah. Sometimes you might you might sleep with a woman, and he and that's not married. You're not married to, and God might not judge you right away. Yeah. That the second or third or fourth time you want to sleep with a woman, boom, got gotcha. you. Now you got HIV. Right. Now you got AIDS. Now you got syphilis. Now you got gonorrhea. Right. You might have been smoking your whole life. You might, Granny been smoking for 70 years of her life. And she ain't got cancer. But guess what? When she turned 71, yep. she got throat cancer, lung cancer, all that type of stuff. But guess what? We think when we commit sin, we think we good. That the most I ain't gonna jack us up if we don't repent. That's wrong. That's a wrong mindset to have. And we can't look at the other people because guess what? Uh, Hebrews 11 and 24. Right? Because I told you, right? We used to smoke weed back in the day. We were sleeping with women. We were doing all that type of stuff, right? And it was pleasurable. It felt good. That's what we do. You ain't going to do something you don't like. Well, let's see what the Bible said real quick. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 24. Uh -huh. By faith, Moses, when he, was, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. So you know any, that, a little bit of history about Moses? I mean, so Moses was an Israelite from the tribe of Levi, right? Yeah. But... He was, a, he was basically adopted and raised up by Pharaoh. Okay. So he learned all the ways of the Egyptians. He learned their customs, sh shaving his hair bald, not keeping a beard on, dressing the way they dressed. But when he found out, when he came to years, the most I put a spirit upon him and say, like, hey, those Israelites are in slavery, those are your brothers. Right? Read. Verse 25, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin. So, so God, so, um, so Moses is like, you know what? I ain't gonna live all nice and uh, high and uh, high status while I see my people suffering. You see that a lot in our in amongst our community. We see we see these high profile athletes, these actors. Guess what? They make all that money, right? They come for the hood. They come for the slums. They come from the ghettos. Then they get they, then they make it. And guess what? They don't come back and help their people. You won't see them ever. Now they're hanging out with the other nations. Now they're doing what the other nations is doing. They forget. They forsake the people. But Moses. He's like, man, those are my people. I'm not going to just sit up here, man, with my money and all the status and all the knowledge I got and not going to suffer for my people. Yeah. Right? Moses had a love for his people. That's what we're showing to our people right now. Right? Read. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin. Right? Read. The pleasures of what? Of sin uh -huh. for a season. Guess what? Because sin only lasts for a season. That pleasure of sin only lasts for a season. Right. Because you could, you could lay with a woman and guess what? You wake up and you she pregnant now. If you ain't got no job or nothing, you ain't taking care of her. Yeah. So for that little two minutes or whatever, how long you was doing what you was doing, yeah. it's only last for a season. Guess what? Now reality's gonna start to sink in. Yeah, now guess what? Now if she don't like you, guess what? She's taking you to court. Yeah. Now you gotta pay child support. Right? Now now you live in paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. Now you can barely find a place to live. Now you gotta live out of your car. Then eventually your car gonna break down, someone gonna bash the windows, take your engine out, now you're homeless. Right. You see what happens when we get in the midst of sin? Yeah. It's a road, man. Yeah. Because guess what? They're going to leave you back. Right? Mark 4, 15. Right? This Bible is nothing to be played with. Our people think this Bible is a fairy tale book. It's about a full of white people and butt naked angels. And God is white and he loves everybody no matter what you... No! That's a damn lie. That's going to get you killed. Mark 4, 15. This is the book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 15. And these are they by the wayside, where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately. So right now, we on the wayside. You hearing the word of God right now. We sowing the word of God into your mind right now. But when you go back to your friends or your, 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 your parents or your, your brothers or sisters or whatever, right? You're going to tell them, hey, I learned this. We got to do this. We got to stop doing this. They're going to be like, Ray, shut up, man, with all that. Yeah. Just the other day, you was doing what you were. And now you got to make a decision. Yeah, to do it. Either to go back to what I was doing or... Or change, or repent. But God is telling you this is what's gonna happen. Your other friend, right? We think Satan is a big, a big red dude with a pitchfork. Nah, the spirit of Satan could be in anybody. Right? He can go anybody. Satan, Satan is not a a, a guy in a, a red dude with a pitchfork. It's a spirit that goes into people and tries to deceive you. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. 
purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth